What is going on guys, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today finally very excited that I got the Galaxy Note 9 replica that I've been anticipating now for a couple of weeks. At first there was a rumor from the Chinese that they were working on this particular replica. I knew that they were doing it but I didn't know when I was going to receive it and today by surprise I got it. I didn't even know I was going to get it. I guess the factory shipped it directly to me after they completed these little replicas right here guys. I have seen other channels that already got it so it has been out maybe for a week or so so it hasn't been that long at least I'm not the last one to do this type of video here guys and I also decided to do it a little bit different as you guys can see I am doing the unboxing straight from the shipping packaging right here just like I used to do a couple of years back if you guys have followed my channel for at least two or three years you know exactly what I'm talking about so anyways guys here without further ado let me go ahead and crack the box open here so that way we can check and see what's inside so here we have the secondary box and you can see that it looks very typical from the Chinese clone makers. Ever since I've been working with these Chinese phones, they come in the same box with the same tape. So by now it's more like a tradition. Let me go ahead and see if I can crack this open. I think I need a new knife. This one is a little bit dull. Let's see here, there we go. So inside here we got something Let's see what this is. Oh, look at this, guys. I got a clone bag as well. This is very clever. There we can see the bag, pretty cool. Next, we got here some bubble wrap for protection purposes. Inside here, we got the box of the phone. And look at this, I got a case, so I am super, super lucky. Hopefully, it fits the original for when I get it. So here we have the box of the Note 9. It is completely sealed. So you guys can say that I tricked you, that I lied to you about opening the packaging. Then here we have the case. And I can tell that this is, or that it could be the Note 9 because now the fingerprint is right below the cameras. So here we have the case, pretty cool. So let me go ahead and remove the film on the packaging here. And on the back side, it's going to give us maybe the specifications of the real one. This one is claiming to have a 6.3 inch display but most likely we have a 5.5 inch display and most likely a resolution of 960 by 540. So we can't expect awesome specifications on the first clone. Normally they come with the MTK65A0, which I think this one has that processor. It comes with the Mali 450, one gigabyte of RAM, eight gigabytes of internal memory, and so on and so forth. But again, guys, the main purpose of these clones is to know what the real one will look like. So far guys, I haven't seen one of these pre-release models that doesn't look identical to the real deal. So most likely the Galaxy Note 9 is going to look exactly like this. So here we have the phone itself. Again, more bubble wrap. So I guess they were trying to be very protective here. And here we have the phone itself. Look at this, the big nine on there, Galaxy Note 9. Again, we got the MTK65A0 processor, one gigabyte of RAM. 8 gigabytes of internal memory. So right here we can see we got a sticker making it look legit. I'm sorry that it is a little bit out of focus right now. So let me just try to make it better. There we go. So on the bottom here it says Galaxy Note 9 and it looks, to be honest with you guys, it looks like something that Samsung will release. And on the back side here we have the dual cameras with the LED light. We have the heart rate sensor, the fingerprint scanner. Towards the bottom here we have some um, logos that most likely will not be available with the Galaxy Note 9. Usually they don't have this right here. So on the top here, you have the antennas together with the uh, SIM tray. Then we have the secondary microphone right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. On the right hand side, we have the uh, power key. Towards the bottom here, we're going to find the stylus. Okay, very cool. And as you guys can tell, it doesn't look of uh, high quality and I don't think it has a real button right now. Actually, it doesn't. It is all solid. I have seen the stylus before, so maybe they copied it from the Note 8 clones. Then on the bottom here, we have the USB Type-C port with the loudspeaker, the main microphone. The, uh, we have the headphone jack. This is great news. And on the left-hand side here, we have what appears to be the Bixby key, the volume rockers up and down. So let me go ahead and remove here the film on the front side. And I have to guess, guys, that maybe this is a 5.8, maybe a 6.1, but I'm pretty sure that it doesn't have that true 6.3 inch display. 
let me go ahead and get it started here before we check the other content inside of the box so I can tell the screen does have the blacks it doesn't look cheap at all so I think that we may have to charge the device unfortunately we don't have any power on here oh there we go it did power on so we got the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 logo it says powered by Android here towards the bottom side and so far guys at least build wise it looks pretty solid and I think that in the black market these phones are currently between 75 to 100 dollars so here we have the UI but before we jump into this let me go ahead and check and see what comes inside of the box here we have a divider very similar to other Galaxy devices that we have seen in the past. We had the SIM injector tool right here. Then here we got what appears to be the fake fast charger. Okay, in the back here we had the Samsung information and all that good stuff. Very cool. Uh, next here, we're going to find, I think we have some earbuds. I'm not sure, but no, we don't have any earbuds on this side. I think we have them on the other side. Here we have the USB cable. This is the USB type C cable. Very cool. We have the earphones. And inside of the box here, guys, we have nothing else. So without further ado, let me set everything aside and talk a little bit more about this Note 9 replica. All right, guys, so here we have the Galaxy Note 9 all set up and ready to go. I even went ahead and installed my AT&T SIM card, as you guys can appreciate, and it is giving me the LTE logo right there. I highly doubt that this one is supporting the LTE bands, but if it does, then this is really, really exciting and weird at the same time, because I've never seen a replica, especially the first one, to actually have the LTE bands. Something I noticed about this replica as well is that it does have a real fingerprint scanner here towards the back side. And again, for the first clone, it is really surprising as well. Now, something I didn't like about this replica is the fact that this here is a 5.9 inch display and not a 6.3. That's why we have a big chin here towards the bottom side. And on the top side here, we have a big bezel but it is carrying the two megapixel sensor camera right here. We have the ear speaker, the proximity and light sensor, as well as the iris scanner sensor. And finally, the notification LED. So unlocking the phone here, guys, we're going to notice how the software looks very similar to other Galaxy devices that we have seen in the past. And if we click here on the Bixby button, it actually activates it. But now this is a fake Bixby software, by the way. So here, going to the camera, this is the five megapixel sensor camera found on the back side. Now the camera is really behaving like a clone device so if you guys encounter one of these phones in the streets then at least you can easily tell by just looking at the camera that if it doesn't have the highest quality available out there then most likely it is a fake now when it comes here to the front facing camera i think it's going to be a very similar story by the way this software i think it's going to be a little bit different on the new galaxy note 9 who knows but so far this is what the Chinese are predicting guys again this is the first clone out there so you really can't expect perfection um, like I said before the phone does have a stylus right here which is not a clicking stylus meaning that if you press in it's not going to be released you have to stick your nail here to the side which I have seen many times in the past and then it comes out it doesn't have any buttons it does simulate to have a button right there but that's fake it's not working and then here we can see this little thing that pops up every time you remove the stylus and it looks very similar to the software on the galaxy at least the note 8 which is the last one that we have seen um, in person of course when it comes to the real deal then here we have um, edge green people edge and all this good stuff that we normally like from the Galaxy devices. So it looks very similar in terms of software to the previous Galaxy Note 8. Again, we don't know what the Galaxy Note 9 will look like in terms of software. So here we have all the toggles and this looks very, very close to the real deal here, guys. Let me go ahead and open my Galaxy S9 Plus. I know this is not the um, Note 8, but at least you guys can get an idea of how close they look in terms of design right there. So very, very similar. I think the Wi-Fi icons is a little bit bigger here in the fake one, as well as the sound icon. They're just a little bit bigger, but that's pretty much it. So going here into settings, you guys can see everything that we got on here. Let me go ahead and increase the brightness to the maximum. Let me see, I'm not gonna go auto. So there we go. We had the maximum brightness right now. And we can see that, well, the colors are pretty punchy and the resolution doesn't look that bad, to be honest with you guys. So here getting into settings, we can see that again, it looks very similar to the Galaxy devices. On the bottom here, we got uh, routine management. And I think we can find about device, or this is actually something similar to about device because we can see the Android right here, 7.0. 
and at first I thought it was gonna be the Android Oreo but no we have the 7.0 right here this is the marshmallow so you guys can appreciate so it is a little bit outdated when it comes to the software and most likely the new Note 9 is not gonna come with the software so again this is another way you guys can tell if you're getting a real deal or a fake also the model I think this is for the Note 8 I don't think that this is going to be for the Note 9 I'm not sure um, but I think I seen that model before again with the Note uh, 8 line and also we got here some other stuff like the memory I think it has been faked let me just go ahead and confirm that with you guys I'm trying to get into everything from this phone there we go uh, storage and this one is faking to have 64 gigabytes but in fact it only comes with 8 gigabytes as I mentioned before and it is not displaying here the RAM information which is only 1 gigabyte so let me go ahead and see if it does have a working Google account you can see that well so far it looks like it comes with all the Google apps which is really cool for a replica uh, let's go here into the Play Store real quick as a matter of fact I'm going to log in and see if it's working just so that you guys can check it out all right guys so here we have the play store fully working i went ahead and logged in just for you guys let me go ahead and try to download an application here using my lte connectivity let me see how fast it is and if it's going to be true lte which i doubt it guys but again if it does have it it's going to be really impressive uh, so far i think it's acting more like a 3g device uh, 4g here at least with uh, at&t is really really fast so i think that yes it is behaving like if it was only 3G connectivity, but it's faking the LTE, which is still not bad. Even if we can get 3G connectivity, it's better than getting Edge. But at least you guys can see it right there that the Play Store is fully functional. And again, this is where I'm mentioning the colors of the screen look very nice and punchy. And it doesn't seem to have any dead pixels. I have seen really bad replicas before with dead pixels. So this one seems okay, at least on the display side, even though it does have some big bezels around it. Um, the next thing I wanted to try here guys was the fingerprint scanner I want to know if it's truly working or not I'm not gonna test the iris scanning maybe if you guys want a full review of this device I can go ahead and provide that information for you uh, but as of right now we're just going to do here the fingerprint so let's go here into security um, let's do fingerprint let's select here a pattern recorded continue let's go ahead and confirm that pattern continue and now let's see if it does have a real fingerprint and so far guys to be honest with you it seems to be legit it is reading my fingerprint and it vibrates at the same time which is really really awesome let me see there we go so let's go ahead and click on finish for now and let's complete this entire process so now it is saying that my lock screen is on the fingerprint mode and there we can see how similar it looks to the real deal at least on the note a side you got the fingerprint logo right there towards the bottom side let me go ahead and try my fingerprint and yes it did unlock it so let me try that again with the finger that i recorded boom and let's try now the one that i didn't use and no it is not doing anything guys you can see not recognized let's try the one that i did use and boom so yes we do have a real fingerprint scanner on here let's try that again okay let me turn on the display here so it's not recognized let's try the one that i did record and there we go so again it does have a real fingerprint scanner and most likely it's going to have a real iris scanner or maybe it is using the front facing camera to detect your face but it's not fully secured and i think that with this being said guys we have now completed the unboxing and the hands-on of the first galaxy note 9 replica i gotta say that they have tried very very hard to make it look as legit as possible just look here on the back side how well they created the samsung logo and also the sticker here that looks very similar to when we get a brand new galaxy device and even with the galaxy Note 9 here towards the bottom side so again you guys need to be very careful because from this point on they're going to get better especially after they release the real deal they're going to try to copy it a hundred percent so again guys here we have completed now the unboxing and the hands-on of the first Note 9. If you guys have any questions, please don't forget to comment below. Like this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on my next one.